anyone can fall victim to cyber crime and any computing device can be infected with malware nobody is immune to cyber crime cyber criminals are improving their performance by compromising systems and people with artificial intelligence there are several ways in which attackers are currently using artificial intelligence in cyber attacks ai can be used to generate realistic phishing emails deploy malware or to create convincing deep fake videos it's so easy to automate the creation of credible at malicious code at incredible speed deep fake technology involves creating realistic looking fake videos or audios using artificial intelligence cyber criminals can use deep fakes to spread misinformation impersonate individuals or manipulate content for malicious purposes such as fraud extortion or defamation as this technology evolves concerns about its misuse and its implications for cyber security and privacy continue to grow deep fake is a machine learning model to manipulate edit or superimpose existing images videos or audios to create a new piece of content that appears to be real but is fake deep fake is the most dangerous form of misinformation pose unprecedented threats not just to democracy and its process but also to the rights of digital citizens in online space misinformation and disinformation remain a big problem in our society over the years unverified news and rumors on social media and messaging services have resulted in huge problems while india has some laws that can be applied to combat deep fake technology there is a need for more specific legislation to address the unique challenges posed by deep fakes cyber security is a social responsibility we all have a role to play section 66e of the it act of 2000 is applicable in cases of deep fake crimes that involves capturing publishing or transmitting a person's images in mass media violating their privacy this offense is punishable with imprisonment of up to 3 years or a fine of up to 2 lakh another relevant section of the it act is the section 66d it provides a provision to prosecute individuals who use communication devices or computer resources with malicious intent to cheat or impersonate someone here punishment is imprisonment up to 3 years or a fine of up to 1 lakh rupees technology trust is a good thing but control is a better one One issue is the lack of clear legal definition of deep fake technology and the activities that constitute deep fake related offenses. Government of India has announced that they are working on decisive measures. The adopted regulations are based on four pillars. Number one is detection of deep fakes. Number two is prevention of the deep fakes. Number three is building of grievance and reporting mechanism. And number four is raising awareness. We have also found positive uses for the deep fake technology. For instance, the 2020 HBO documentary Welcome to Chechnya used deep fake technology to hide the identities of Russian LGBT refugees whose lives were at risk while also telling their stories. The best approach the public can take to deep fakes is not to panic, but to be informed about the technology. and its capability it takes so many years to build a reputation and few minutes of cyber incident to ruin it what should be india's regulatory approach on emerging technologies like ai ai governance in india can't be restricted to just a law reforms have to be centered around increasing awareness and institution building there has to be more focus on preemptive measures for instance making users aware that they are looking at a mobbed image we should also keep in mind the indian context that we have a thriving startup ecosystem and therefore any sort of legislative response can't be so stringent that it impedes innovation in india social media can be a useful and fun way to interact with others and to share content but use it carefully and remember there is nothing totally private on the internet and once online it is hard to control